Right everyone, Reflector here. Right, I thought I'd show you my car boot sale stuff that I've got today. Because uh, I haven't had time to do a video, because I've been doing that. Um, this will be the only thing today, so... I didn't get a lot. Uh, I did see a... The only thing I was really interested in, I was trying to get some tools, like axes and stuff like that. I think I saw one or two axes the whole entire time I was there. And they had, um, I wanted axes, I wanted axe heads really, but, um, or hatchet heads. The only ones I saw was hatchets with um, fiberglass handles on. For the same price I could get a decent wooden handled one on eBay. So I thought, fuck it, I won't bother with that, there's no point. I did see a sword, a really crappy, um, it was a wakazashi I think they're called, you know, the short, like that, about exactly the same size as that actually. Um, but when I had a proper look at it, it was shit. The blade had all grind lines in it, funny tip, wasn't the shape of a, it looked, to look at it, it looked like a, you know, proper wackadashi like that, but when you looked at the blade, the tip was a really weird shape. Um, the, the back of the handle was missing. So I said, and you could see it was like screwed in as well, so I said, I said to him, um, how much do you want for that? And he said, 15 quid. So I said, I'll give you five for it. And he got a bit sort of weird. Uh, said, oh, someone else has offered 15 and they're coming back for it later. So I just said, all right then. I said, I might look back in later and if you still got it, I might ask for it. But I would have only given him a five anyway, because I only really wanted the blade. Um, yeah. And the blade wasn't that good anyway, so I didn't bother getting that. Uh, yeah, and I didn't see a lot of other stuff that I wanted. Saw a couple of cricket bats, but one was cracked and one was like a really cheap thing that you get, like when you're down the seaside and you can get that, like, you know, that one's for like two quid or something, made of softwood and yeah. So not a lot. So what I did get was some duct tape because that was a lot cheaper than if you bought it on. Um, eBay from a shop, some super glue because that was a quid and that always comes in handy, some zips because, because I'm a bit of a cheapskate, uh, my bomber jacket that I wear, my good one, the zip is broken and I can't fix the zip, there's bits actually missing in the zip so I was going to buy some zips off eBay once and then I saw these, well there was, they're too expensive really for what they are, you know, it's not worth buying zips. Because the other thing is, if I buy the zip and fix it on this, it might not work anyway. So while I was there, I saw two zips. These, there was a great big pile of them, 50p each. So I thought, fuck it, I'll get two of them. If they don't work, it doesn't matter. I'm just back where I was anyway, and I've only lost out on a pound. So, yeah. So the only thing that I bought that was something I was actually looking for and useful were these. And these are actual shin guards. Uh... I didn't quite know what they were at first. I just had a quick look at them and they looked good and they do look good, good quality. Uh, if they're shin guards, they're for kids. But what I thought would be perfect, and it actually looks like it a bit, I think, the arm guards. Similar to the arm guards you get on a uh, on Fallout. But that fits on my arm good. So I would then have some alright size arm guards now for armour and this also did give me an idea of these are really quite simply made but done well you could easily replicate these using kydex now that I look at it this is some kind of hard plastic you could easily replicate our kydex you can get quite thick kydex as thick as this stuff and all you would need to do is heat it up put it on your leg Fold it round your leg, hold it there till it goes hard, takes the shape of your leg, and then all you'd have to do is fix the straps on. So I've got arm ones now, and all I need is a couple more for different parts. But the one thing people neglect is leg protection. Um, quite often you'll get armour all over everywhere apart from your legs. But there are situations where the first place you'll get hit is your legs. So you do want leg protection, and the other thing is once you've been whacked around the leg, if you've been whacked hard enough on your thigh, you can't walk, you know. So um, you do really, if you're going to 
If you're going to use armour in some kind of situation, you do want leg protection, definitely. So, yeah. But um, these these wouldn't even fit on my um, leg. They must be kids. But as I said, I didn't pr look properly. Oh, and there's four quid as well. That's why I snapped them up, really. I said, these was from a woman obviously selling her um, household stuff. Most of the stuff in the car that I went to is uh, it's almost like market stuff, or people are always selling the same stuff, you know what I mean? Whereas this was like a one-off, just someone selling their house stuff. So I thought, well, I said to her, how much do you want for them? And she thought, uh, thought for a bit, and I looked at her and I said, you know, I haven't got a clue how much they would be. So she said, oh, I'll do you for four quid. And I said, yeah, all right, I'll have them. Because I thought even if they don't fit, I could adjust them, or if they didn't fit where I wanted to. As I said, they fit my arms perfectly, even though they're shin pads, really, shin guards. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I got them, because now that's given me the idea to do leg armour now from Kydex. And I'll tell you what, I reckon you could make some really good armour from Kydex. I'm surprised other people haven't done it. Someone must have. You can get different coloured um, Kydex as well. So you can you can actually get camo Kydex. So I could potentially make ready-made camo Kydex. Uh, ready-made camo armour that the the you know say if you painted armour it'll come off it won't come off of kydex because that's its actual colour you know what I mean? so yeah that's it not a lot but i just thought i'd do a video because i won't get one out today um we was walking around for at least four hours i think i don't know if i look tired but i fucking i feel fucking knackered first time i've been out this year in the proper sun as well it's quite nice i saw someone i knew Smoked trim for a bit. Malk came with us. Um, JDR survival was my twin brother Malk. Quite a few of us, my family. Luke, Malk's stepson came as well. You know, and all their kids. But yeah, a nice day out. My dad was with us, my sister, uh, my brother. Yeah, that was good. Um, good day out. And I did get some bargains. And all together, all of this including a portion of small chips and the two quid to get in cost me 12 quid so that's um, arm protection some duct tape some super glue two zips small chips and the two quid to get in yes yeah, so that's not bad really is it I think that's four quid two quid one quid one quid so four five six yeah eight 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know if you'll see these in a video doing anything. Um, you know, I may test them out, but these would be handy to keep good for, um, you know, if I ever need some kind of arm protection. Because these are the perfect fucking size for my arms. As I said, they're kids' things, really, but they work on my arms very well. And I um, may need to adjust that bit slightly. They remind me of the armour of a Fallout as well, I think. Don't they? Uh, the um, combat armour. Velcro adjustable. These will definitely influence me in making some leg armour now, eventually. Uh, won't be hard to get the stuff for that. Uh, I think mean, Kydex is around £5 a sheet, so. Like about 10 quid a leg, pretty much. And I bet that's cheaper than buying it, and you could make it custom made as well. All you'd need, all you really need is the Kydex, some kind of foam, and the straps. And you can get Kydex thick enough that you could probably just put cut slits in and just have the straps connected straight to the Kydex. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. I'll, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do a video tomorrow. I'm going to have a busy day tomorrow as well. I've got to do that roof. Uh, yeah, so maybe the next video might be... Unless I'll do a stream tomorrow. The next video may be Wednesday. Alright? See you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon. Or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel... Click the bell and uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.